book call time again. Viewers of this channel remember just a short while ago, I did a book call for a um, uh, used book sale that a local library had. Um, well, another um, location in the local library system was having a used book sale, and they had some awesome books. So I thought, why not do another used book call? Um, so here I go, and this is a very big call, so I'm going to be very brief in the descriptions of the books because otherwise this video would take forever. First up, um, you have The First American, The Life and Times of Benjamin Franklin by H.W. Brands. Non-fiction, I believe this is pretty self-explanatory. It's about Benjamin Franklin. Next up, you have Lonesome Dove by Larry McMurtry. Um, love, love the movie TV miniseries version. This is one of my favorite movies growing up as a kid. Uh, me and my family watched it all the time. Um, I've never read the book, so this was there. It was only a dollar, so I thought, why not? And that was a great thing about to sell. Hardcover for two dollars, paperback for a dollar. I mean, you can't beat those prices. One of my favorite authors, Ken Follett. Um, Code to Zero is one of the few Ken Follett books I've never read, so awesome. The Cure by Sonia Levitin. And I'll show up the cover there. I almost got the book solely for the cover. It looked kind of interesting. Um, don't know if it's any good yet, but looked interesting. Back made it sound interesting, so it kind of has a little bit of a kind of a sound of like a YA dystopian novel, but don't know much about it, but it has a real cool cover, so. Uh, next up you have The Last Night, The Twilight of the Middle Ages and the Birth of the Modern Era by Norman Cantor. Um, I'm just a huge history buff. Um, sounded very interesting. Um, just sounded like a cool book, so I thought, why not? Then next up you have The uh, Kite Runner by uh, Khalid Hosseini. And sorry if I mispronounced his name. I know he's a very well-known author, very acclaimed. I've heard a lot of good things about this book, so I'm very excited to read it. Another nonfiction book, um, John Adams by uh, David McCullough. John Adams is a really fascinating figure, so I'm really looking forward to reading that book. The Water is Wide by um, Pat Conroy. I heard a lot of good things about Pat Conroy, but I've never read any of his books, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to try one of them out for cheap, and that way I'd find out if I like his work or not. Uh, the Guns of August um, by Barbara T Touchman. Uh, Tuchman, um, nonfiction about World War One. Sounded interesting, and it's paperback, a dollar. Don't often get nonfiction books just for a dollar, so hard to pass up. The Warrior Generals: Combat and Leadership in the Civil War by Thomas Buell. Um, huge Civil War buff. Probably it and World War Two are the two subjects I've read the most about. And, but it's been a little bit since I read a Civil War book, and this one looked somewhat interesting. Uh, Byzantinium by Stephanie Lawhead. Um, I don't know if this book's going to be any good or not, um, but I like the title. I almost got the book straight up just because of the title, so it could be a cruddy book, but I was intrigued by the title, so. And that's a good thing, when you go to these sales where the books are really cheap, you can take some risks that if you were at a bookstore and you are having to pay 10 or $15 for, you're not going to take a risk on. For a dollar or two, you can go, yeah, that might be good, so I'll, that's one reason I always enjoy these types of sales. Um, the Secret History of the CIA by Joseph Trento. Um, one reason I'm really excited to read this book is um, several years back I wrote, read a nonfiction book about kind of secret history of the KGB, um, so I'm kind of looking, of looking forward to reading the other side of the Cold War spy battle um, by reading about the CIA, so interested to see how this book is. Josephine, um, The Empress and Her Children by Nina Epton. Um, my sister was a huge, huge fan of Napoleon and Josephine when she was growing up. Um, she was fascinated by those two figures. Um, and she was seven years older than me, so a lot of times I kind of latched onto what she was interested in. So I heard a lot about Josephine when I was growing up. But I've never read a book about her. She is really an interesting figure in history. So, again, this one was $2, I thought, why not? And lastly, um, 1066, The Year of the Conquest by David Horwith. Uh, this is about the Norman Conquest of England. I uh, studied a lot about this in college. 
Um, but I really haven't read much about it since I graduated college several years ago now that I'm getting, getting a little older. Um, so I thought it was time to revisit this very important aspect of um, Western civilization. So very excited for that. So that's my book call. Again, like I said, I didn't want to get too much detail of all the books because otherwise this would have lasted forever. If you did not catch my last book call that I did for um, the used books, I'll put a link somewhere over here so you can check that out. And then let me know in the comment section below what's um, the best book you've read so far in 2014. Be it a new book or a book that's really old but you just finally got around to reading in 2014. Let me know in the comment section below. Who knows if it sounds interesting, maybe I'll check it out. And also, like always, if you have any ideas for videos you'd like me to do on this channel, just let me know in the comment section below. Also remember, I'm a part of two collab channels, Reread Books and Project Nerdies. Project Nerdy, sorry. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe to both those channels. They're great channels, and I appreciate the support you can show both of those. And also, obviously, subscribe to this channel if you're not already. But I hope you enjoyed this book call. Um, I'll probably a little bit before I do another book call, because I've done three big book calls recently, so I have a lot of books to read. Um, so I really don't have a need to purchase any anytime soon. So it'll be a while before you see another book call video from me, but I'll try to keep the channel active with lots of other great stuff. So. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you the next time.